All right, well, so it's it's three hundred eighty thousand per use. So that's seven six million ship XP and seven point two million silver. Uh, that is that is insane. But yeah, here we go. I guess it's my press account, so I'm lucky here. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Bob Lune, aka Pavloon. Today we are playing the Satsuma maxed Satsuma with sniper build. We're gonna take Isoroku Yamamoto out on uh, probably the, the the coolest ship of his dreams. I mean, honestly, this this is like peak uh, J Japanese naval naval history if it if it actually happened. But yeah, we take Grease the Gears armor pierce and we're gonna go for sniper. I think we can get five citadels if we're lucky. Uh, if we're not gonna get it this video, you're just gonna have to imagine how it looks <laughs> because it's RNG based, and I'm probably I'm gonna get unlucky. So let's put in some of these. Satsuma here is. Expensive, um, just like Annapolis is, but it gets Scout Plane 3, and I believe you go up to 20 kilometers. I went Dispersion Mod on this, I didn't go for range, because I, I feel like already across, you know, once you go across 18 kilometers, you're, you're already fine, you don't need more range. But you get combat Destructions, Immediate Main Battery Fire Adjustment, Reduce Main Battery Shell Dispersion by 35% for 10 seconds. It can only be activated after landing 25 shell hits with main guns, so... Kind of like a uh, San Martin thing. You gotta get some shell hits. So, without further ado, guys, let's hop in. Hey, okay, wow. <clears throat> we actually got real players and an enemy Satsuma. Uh, oh, we got a Hawk to a fanboy there. Spin on that thing. Thank God that meme is dead. Thank God the Hawk to a meme is dead. Should the, the, podcast, should the podcast should also stop. I can't be the only one who feels like just because you say a funny thing on an interview, you should shouldn't make you a podcaster bro anybody's a podcaster nowadays but yeah especially specifically hawk to a girl like stop just just go back to school just be normal here we go satsuma man i wish i kind of wish you were on the enemy team dude not gonna lie because um i'm feeling a certain kind of way today boys <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah baby okay 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 we are going to see these guys. I'm, I guess we're just going to go mid because or look, look at our range, guys. We can reach this island. behind. This is the island behind. We can actually reach that one. Oh, buddy. GK, you found yourself. Oh, wait. Is that a Castilla? I'm not going to shoot at that Castilla. Just look at how he's positioned. He's going to turn as soon as we fire. All right. Let's try the first salvo with Satsuma at a GK. Is Roku Yamamoto on? You know, it's these Oh, like there's a Satsuma right there. Maybe we should respect him. Should I? Uh, I don't know what if I want to fire that indie, honestly. Like, it's, nope, he's turning like that. Look at look at him turn. Fire GK, and then I think we're going to have to go for that Satsuma. Ooh, damn, dude. Okay, what do we got over there? Bot, bot, bot. And Satsuma is right here. Maybe we should go for the GK. No, he's okay. Wow, Wargaming. Nice bots. Nice bots. Yeah, we are going to be sniping, guys, because that's what you do in this ship. You just sit at the back and snipe. Thank you. Uh, thank you to my San Martin bot who just pushed this guy away from my shells. Literally, again, we're, we're just getting ruined by bots, bro. The Annapolis video, and now this. Dude, I'm, I'm, all I'm asking is for a game that's not going to mess up like the Annapolis one did because of bots. I really just want to play a match that bots don't sabotage. Okay, 8, 8k Citadel, guys. Nice, we got the first skill activation. So, we're losing our teammates. Our bots left, right, and center, which is fine. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be pushing away, man. I think my Smolensk and the other guys can deal with this, and then I'll deal with these two these two big boys. Oh, nice salvo on the Satsuma there, and we got a we got one of those crazy salvos getting ready here. So I'm gonna turn in because Satsuma is definitely I think he's looking for a salvo or two. My God, this this feels very powerful, and look at the dispersion, man. It just feels good. Oh yeah, that's a Decent salvo, holy. Well, 
We have this thing ready. Now our special skill, but I'm not feeling it, dude. I'm not feeling the special skill right now. Oh, but you are feeling the special skill, aren't you? I think we might have fucked up that shot. Yeah, we might, we, might, we messed it up, guys. I don't know why I <laughs> might jerk my hand for some reason. Okay, well, uh, who do, who's the biggest threat right now? Is that the GK or the Satsuma? I feel like the GK is a bigger threat to our team, so I'm going to help them out with that guy. Satsuma's looking away from us right now, so there's no reason for me to go crazy. Just help out the team. It's decent. We got our second skill right now, so that means extra penetration on these guns, which I think is going to serve us quite well, actually. What's that? That's the bot Hindenburg that's been just going around the map for eternity. Alright, Satsuma. You and me. Oh, that's a lot of damage, bro. Yeah, this thing is nasty, dude. This this thing is really nasty. You, uh, I, I also felt the salvos from it when I was playing the, the Annapolis, man. It hurts to get shot by this. You, you don't want to eat too many of these shells, man. All right, I think it's just me and this guy now. So first game on, we, we only got two Citadels. Unfortunate. But let's see if we can mess with this guy right here. Okay, let's fire at that. Oh no, we didn't have our turret. Buddy. Oh! Man, when you when you citadel them, it just absolutely annihilates. So we did get 100k the first game here. I actually didn't expect to see that number. And yeah, I think he's dead here. Boom. Yeah, this thing is fun, dude. This, <laughs> this thing is nasty. Especially when you have a Max Isoroku Yamamoto on it. GG, the, the Hawk Tua fanboy over there. Are you in love with him? Hawk Tua fanboy? Oh, luck with him. Look, love with him. With her. It's like, is it like a simp thing? That every, there's so many Hawk Tua fanboys and girls in the US. I, I, I don't get it, guys. Is it just because I'm European? I don't get the meme like that. Well, I, I, I know what she's talking about, but yeah. Anyways, that was fun. Um, I'll gladly go for round two. We got ourselves a nice game here, guys, with only two bots. <laughs> and look at the sad super player, bro. Why do you only have one? Oh, no. Is he good or is he bad? It's always a mystery with these um, returning players, right? I guess Caleb might be a returning player who's like, I need to see what these super ships are all about. Yo, Caleb, if you're watching this video, <laughs> shout out to Caleb if he's a returning guy. Because I don't imagine newer players... <laughs> Have access to this ship. If they do, that's weird. Okay, well, um, again, we're just gonna chill and lay back. Thing is, guys, you can even, like, if you're, if you got a CV in your division and you have two of these, or maybe just one of these and a black, uh, black Yamato or black Montana, you can literally one shot the CV out of the game in the first minute, first half a minute. It's quite powerful, the amount of, you know, long range firepower you can lay down with this ship it's it's lovely so we haven't yet to see any you know light cruisers and stuff like that that we can hit but i guess i'm just going to charge up the the suma what should i charge it up on all right let's let's make sure we're uh we got all the guns on target there we go there's going to be so many ships and again yeah look the schlieffen just completely dodged Guys, don't shoot at the bots in this game. Just avoid them at all costs, because they are literally there to just piss you off. I I try my hardest in every game to not be pissed off at the bots, but they just, they really do mess with my head, man. Okay, secondaries on this thing are quite meaty, if you can hear. Holy crap. Big guns. We got a heater engineer right there. We need to cap B. Uh, I think... Schlieffen might get... He might actually dodge this shit, man. Cause it's, it, look at how he's drifting, dude. I'll steal that kill. Okay, we didn't get it, but I want the shell hits no matter what. We only have 11 at the moment. That's not enough. I guess we're just gonna shoot at the... Enemy Satsuma here. 
Oh, he's capping B. Thank you, Hage. My man. The one problem that we also will find is that the render distance of this game is just too short because once you get out to these distances here, the the ships they'll be turning in like increments, like the little, little increments of five degrees or something. And they won't be moving smoothly, which is again, just recreate the fucking engine wargaming. Make a whole new game with a better engine that's modern that works. And you probably will see that your game won't have all these issues. That's pretty nice. Now, I'm not a game developer, guys. I know nothing about it. So what I, th what I said there could, could be complete bull. But I feel like at this point, you know, it's probably easier to make a new engine than it is to fix the issues over and over again and create more issues. Alright, so I have a Marceau who's going to rush me in a minute. Um, that's going to be interesting. There's two Marceaus. Why do we always get double... Yeah, double Marceau. What's the what's the issue, Wargaming? Why two? Alright, let's... Let's try that. Let's see what happens, man. That's pretty, pretty damn precise. I think he might get wrecked here. Nope. <laughs> no Citadels. Alright, I think we have to go capture C. Because they are definitely overtaking us in points, which I don't like. Nice, the Montana took out the Marceau. That's actually huge. Now Schlieffen. Oh yeah, I knew there was a Marceau right there. Wait, what? We didn't kill him? No way! No way, brother. Well, at least this ship has great torpedo protection. Let's see how much we lose about 2k to a Marceau torpedo. That's not too bad. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run away and use my range to my advantage here. We might take a couple torps from this uh, Marceau, but that's okay. Stop the ship and finish the Schlieffen off. We're probably going to get flooded here. Nope, we didn't. We're, wow, we are lucky boys. That's 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 the truth right there. That's super lucky. <laughs> oh, wrong button. I didn't intend to spam that. I mean, yeah, you easily farm damage with this thing. It's it's a monster. We're already at 111k. We feel like we haven't done much, to be honest. Just have to catch this Colombo. Catch the Colombo off guard. I think that could be good. Well, I, I should have definitely <laughs> waited a little bit. I got a little bit greedy, but we're, we're going to let this Marceau do a couple of dances around us. And then we're just going to ignore him, I guess. Yeah, do your thing, Marceau. Alright, well, we got some shell hits. I still don't think he has the, <laughs> the ability to kill us here, man. Alright, we're just gonna stop here. I don't think this Colombo is making the right play by doing this, but, um... Oh, well. Hopefully that kills him. No, it... Overpens, bro! Well, I'm just gonna keep farming you guys. Heal up, please. Yes, heal. Heal, 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 heal. Now this guy. Yeah, we got him, baby. We got him. No permaflood for you, Marceau. I'm gonna load HE for this guy. Well, that was pretty fun, man. GG. This thing is a monster. This thing is an absolute monster, definitely. That could have probably killed him, honestly. Nice. 141k.
I felt like that came a lot very, very easy. When this thing is maxed out, it is, wow, um, <laughs> disgusting, <laughs> to say the least. It's just disgusting, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's just, like, that Marceau, you saw how little damage he did. He, he literally had to fire torpedoes over and over and over again for us, you know, to lose any meaningful amount of HP. Nice try, Paladin. You, you did your best, bro. You really did. All right, final game of this video. It's going to be versus, uh, I guess, three players. So, yeah, another thing that is very, very prevalent uh, with the super ships is going to be bot games, I think. And, um, well, I could make an entire video about the importance of Wargaming fixing the bots in this game for the game to survive. Um, because, honestly, man, these ships are really, really fun. They're really cool. I played the Annapolis, I played the Satsuma, and I do very much enjoy the trajectory the game is taking. I, I think a lot of people are, are cool with super ships. I am, at least. I think it's a very fun addition. We, we needed something else than just tier 10. But it's really ruined by games such as this one, where we see one, two, three, four bots. And I don't think it really matters what time of day you're playing, guys. We see them at, at every time of the day. Um, and I really think it's, it's an issue. Maybe it's just me. But uh, yeah, I, I'm frustrated when I'm playing a ship like this, and I'm, I don't want to fire at this Venezia, because I just know he's going to be turning as soon as I fire my guns, right? And that's the, that's the issue I have with the bots. Battleships are hit really hard by this. Especially ships like Vermont, for example. This thing, Satsuma. Pretty nice little opening salvo on our friend, the, the enemy Satsuma right there. I'm not gonna, yeah, again, I'm not gonna aim at these two guys. There's two ships that's just off limits because they are bugged in a love circle. I don't know why. Yeah, again. Awesome trajectory the game is taking with the with the bots and the fixes. Not the bots, with the super ships, the, you know, the new commander tech tree. And I know Wargaming are trying to make these changes, you know, applicable for every player. So it's not just the veteran player base that can do their commanders or get super ships. Hopefully we can find a nice middle road where it's, it's going to be grindy, but it's going to be realistic. So one thing I have noticed with this thing is you don't get very precise guns. It, it actually isn't very accurate. Um, so just base. And I am running a dispersion mod, keep that in mind. Should we take a chance and fire at this guy? He just made a weird... Yeah, yeah I'm very happy I didn't fire that fucking Henry. See, again, another ship we're not allowed to shoot at. Um... Because the game has decided that they have the sixth sense. There we go. We finally got something that's a little bit uh, more useful than an overpen. Triple. Three guys aiming at us. Schlieffen is stopping it, it looks like. That's good. Because I think we can actually take him out in a second here. Not take him out, but stop him from pushing at least. Look, the dispersion is kind of wonky, man. But I don't mind that. I actually think if it was a little bit too good, yeah, this would be overpowered. For sure. <laughs> for sure it would be overpowered. I don't think we can shoot over that, so that's very, very unfortunate. Nah, I don't think it'll go over. But maybe in this gap it will. Should we take a chance, guys? I guess the Stalingrad just annihilated him. Oh, that is, uh, yeah, again, very, very easy to hit these guys. I feel like they've just turned up the bullshit with bots. Am I the only one? Because look at this. I think he might be on that trajectory and not changing it. 55k ain't much, dude. It honestly is not much. Um, just haven't had that many targets, you know. Okay, let's see, what do we do versus a Venezia at this distance? Let's take off auto-aim. We actually just kind of overpen him. Interesting. 
Uh, it does kind of make sense though, because the amount of penetration these guns have. Like if Venezia is a thinny, sh a thinny ship, a skinny ship. <laughs> There's also an Elbing somewhere. Well, he's there, okay. He's on the uh, firing course. I think he's not going to move much. I took him out. The full pens do 3k to a fucking DD, man. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Guy talked to us. Okay, interesting. Yeah, dude, these secondaries, manual secondaries, are really, really good. Alright, so... We get a pretty bot-heavy game, unfortunately. We have an Annapolis bot. Dude, what the fuck? Guys, Annapolis bot. Imagine Des Moines bot, right? Well, this thing has more more guns. Uh, it's more dangerous than Des Moines. I, I don't like that prospect, guys. Fucking Des Moines. Des Moines just got an upgrade, bro. Des Moines bot just leveled up. It, <laughs> do they also have to pay up outrageous amounts of Silver War gaming? How does a bot finance this type of gameplay? Come on. Like, you gotta be real with me here. Why do the players have to pay so much to play these ships when there's literally bot Annapolis out there? Bro, no, 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 no. That's not cool, War Gaming. That's not cool. Fuck, man. Alright, well, we're just going to be hanging back. One issue I find is, I think, is going to be very annoying is when you have Satsuma players that, in, for example, Epicenter here, will literally just sit at spawn. They won't even go into the cap because they have so much range. Okay, so one bot. We can't shoot at him because he's on his you know, initial trajectory. This guy, yep, he's turning now. So we also can't shoot at him. But we can shoot at the Montana player here. That is a viable target because he's a player. He won't be turning like a crazy madman. Oh my god, the two fucking... Guys, the two shells we hit were citadels. Wow. We could, maybe, if we're lucky, maybe. I'm, I'm not gonna be jinxing anything. Get the sniper skill this game if we are lucky boys. Let's try to hit this guy here. Got this Dia bot out there. Let's see what this does. No citadels on that one, unfortunately. I don't think we'll be able to reach... Wait, we will. Oh my god. This is nasty range, bro. We can pull Greg even further and still hit him, I think. Yeah, that's three citadels. We got all three citadels on just this guy alone. Holy. Holy. <laughs> this, is, this is good. Alright, let's see. We got the Kremlin out there. Can we, can we citadel the Kremlin? I think he's going to turn right in a second here. Okay, turn left. Okay, that might do good for us. Yeah, we only hit superstructure, I think. I mean, there's again, there's no reason for me to push. I'm just gonna stay where I am. We have this Somers here who's doing nasty stuff to my team, it looks like. Right, let's try to hit Colombo, help with the Somers here. There's also a Shima. Oh god. Yeah, that might spell the end for us, guys. Shimakaze and the Somers, that's a lot of torpedoes. But we got the Castilla right here. I'm gonna use a damage control already. Oh, we gotta turn. Turn the fucking guns, please. Yeah, that did pretty good damage, man. Let's stop here. He's gonna die to fires. Let's get the guns turned around already. We need to preemptively turn these. Guys, I just killed NPC ship. Do they re they're really called NPC ships? I love it. Okay, so we need one citadel, guys. One freaking citadel, and then we have the sniper skill. I, I don't want to believe it happens, because nothing you ever want to happen in this game happens. Oh, that's pretty darn good damage on a DD, man. These guns are huge, so, like, DDs also just suffer under these. 
Oh yeah, wow. Fortunately, we didn't get the Somers there, but... Ha <laughs> ha, Grosso boy, thank you. The, uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Well, guys, we only have the Montana to shoot at now, in terms of Citadels. Very, very sad that we didn't get it on the bots, but um, I had to deal with these destroyers, you know. I think I might be aiming a little too short, actually. Yeah, the, the guns... The shells are pretty heavy, as you can imagine. We're gonna take a chance here and accelerate and turn at the same time, because I see the Montana. He's healing. Oh, damn, bro, he is healing. Fast. Let's try those, man. Let's see what we do. Bow on Montana. Oh, my goodness. That is some good damage. No Citadels, bro. Rip. <laughs> we will eat some Torps here. It's fine. I I'm probably going to lose this game, guys, because versus a bot and a... Player, sorry, I have two players with a bot on my team, but we're gonna turn back in to try to get a citadel on this guy, please. No, it's, guys, the game hates me. I swear, the game hates me. It's made to not be gotten that sniper skill. You just—he's getting lower and lower, man. And they're gonna win this game soon, so that's that's an issue. But okay. 15 kilometers range. Just give us the citadel game. I'm seeing some hits that might hit well, please. No! We'll never get it! <laughs> we'll never get it, dude. I'm gonna let him heal, guys. We have one and a half minutes. He probably has a heal left. We hit the Shimmer once. Let's just see. Yeah, no. It's not enough, guys. One minute left. One minute left. He fired two, two torpedo tubes. We can get away by just sailing forward because he only has probably one torpedo tube left. Alright, now let's try this. Swap to HE. No, we don't swap to HE. We swap back to AP right now because Montana ain't dead, bro. What is this? We have we need one Citadel game. Why can't you let us have fun? Please. I'm trying to fucking showcase this shit to the, the people, man. We want to see Sniper on this ship. But we're not. There he is. He gave away his position. He gave away his position. Just get me the kill, at least. We did it. Cool beans. But okay. GG. 144k, man. It's still a good game, but like I said... We probably jinxed it, man. Four Citadels. <laughs> Oh, what is life? GG. GG, enemy team. Ukraine support? I can get down with that. GG, man. GG.